Why are Jews so smart? By Dr. Stephen Carr Leon. He says, since I spent about three years in Israel for internship in few hospitals there, it came to my mind about doing research on why the Jews are intelligent. It goes without denial that Jews are ahead in all aspects of life, such as engineering, music, science, and most obviously in business. Nearly 70% of world trade and business are held by the Jews. In cosmetics, food, fashion, arms, hotels, and film industries, Hollywood, etc. During my second year, I was about to go back to California. This idea came to my mind and I was wondering why God gave this gift or ability to only them. Is this a coincidence or is it man-made? Can intelligent juice be produced like goods from a factory? My research took about 8 years to gather all the information as accurately as possible. Like their food intake, culture, religion, initial preparation of pregnancy, etc. And I would compare them with other races. Let's start with initial preparation of pregnancy. In Israel, the first thing I noticed is that a pregnant mother would always sing and play the piano and would always try to solve mathematics problems together with her husband. I was very surprised to see that pregnant women always carry math books. Sometimes I would help her to solve some problems. I would ask, is this for your child in the womb? She would answer, yes, to train the child still in the womb so that it would be a genius later on. She would solve math problems without let up until the child is born. Another thing I notice is about their food. The pregnant women love to eat almonds and dates with milk. For lunch, she would take bread and fish without the head, salad mixed with almonds and other nuts. They believe fish is good for the development of the brain and that the fish head is bad for the brain. And also it is in the culture of Jews for pregnant mothers to take cod liver oil. When I was invited for dinner, I noticed that they always like to eat fish, flesh and fillet, but no meat. According to their belief, meat and fish together will not give any benefit to our body. Salad and nuts is a most s almonds. They would always eat fruits first before the main meal. The belief is that if you eat the main meal first, like bread or rice, then fruits, this will make us feel sleepy and difficult to understand. Lessons in school. In Israel, smoking is a taboo. If you are a guest, don't smoke in their house. They would politely ask you to go out to smoke. According to scientists in universities in Israel, nicotine would destroy cells in our brain and will affect the genes and DNA, resulting in generations of moron or defective brain. All smokers, please take note. Ironically, the biggest producer of cigarettes is you know who. The food intake for the child is always under the guidance of the parents. First, the fruits with almonds followed by cod liver oil. In my assessment, most Jewish children know at least three languages, Hebrew, Arabic and English. Since childhood, they would be trained in playing the piano and violin. It is a must. They believe that this practice will increase the IQ of the child and will make him a genius. According to Jewish scientists, the vibration of music would stimulate the brain. That is why there are lots of geniuses among the Jews. Since grade 1 to 6, they would be taught business maths. Science subjects would be their first preference. As comparison, I would see the IQ of children in California is about 6 years back. Jewish children are also involved in athletics such as archery, shooting and running. They believe that archery and shooting would make the brain more focused on decision making and precision. In high school, students are more inclined to study science. They would create products, indulge in all sorts of projects, although some looks very funny or useless. But 
all attention is given seriously especially if it is an ornaments medicine or engineering a successful project or idea would be introduced in higher study institutes polytechnics or universities business faculty is given more preference in the last year of university students in business studies would be given a project and they can only pass if their group about 10 in a group can make a profit of usd 1 million don't be surprised this is a reality and that is why half of the business in the world is held by the jews for instance guess who designed the latest levis it is designed in the israel university by the faculty of business and fashion have you seen how they pray they always shake their heads they believe this action will stimulate and provide the brain with more oxygen some thing with islam where you need to bow down your head look at the japanese they always bow down their heads as their culture lots of them are smart they love sushi which is a fish is this a coincidence in the usa the commercial and trading center for jews are based in new york catering only to the jews if any jew has any novel and beneficial idea that committee sanctions interest free loans and will make sure their business prospers thus jewish companies like starbucks dell computers coca cola dkny oracle levis dunkin donut hollywood films and hundreds of other business were given encouraging sponsorship jewish medical graduates in new york are encouraged to register with them and allowed to pra- practice privately with this interest free loans now i know why most hospitals in new york and california always lack specialist doctors smoking leads to generation of morons during my visit to singapore in 2005 i was surprised to see smokers are regarded as outcasts and the price of the pack of cigarette is about usd 7 like in israel it is a taboo Singapore's form of government is similar to the Israelis and that is the reason why most of their universities have high standards even though Singapore is only as big as Manhattan look at Indonesia everywhere people are smoking the price of the pack of cigarette is very cheap only usd 0.70 cents the result is millions of people with very little intelligence you can count the number of universities what product they produce that they can be proud of low technology can't speak other than their own language for instance why is it so difficult for them to master the english language all this is due to smoking their diet their culture in my thesis i do not touch on religion or race why the jews are arrogant that they were being chased around since the time of the pharaoh until hitler for me it is about politics and survival the bottom line is can we produce intelligent generations such like jews the answer would be yes we need to change our daily habits of eating and parenting maybe within three generations it could be achieved this i could observe in my grandson for example at the age of 9 he would write a five page essay on why i love tomato may all of us be in peace and succeed and producing future generations of the geniuses for the betterment of humankind no matter who we are